my sweater. You shrunk my sweater. Hi, I'm Linda and this is Cardboard Couples Therapy. Our cardboard couple is struggling with a common relationship problem. How to apologize. Let's see what happens next. You shrunk my sweater. Hmm. It is a bit smaller, I suppose. It's minuscule. You shrunk my favourite sweater. Wash it yourself, then. I will. Except you never do. And you wear it every day. Because it's my favourite. And now I can't wear it ever again. Stop being such a drama queen. And stop shouting. My grandmother made me this sweater. Does that make it okay to shout? I've asked you not to put it in the dryer. I don't seem to do anything right. Well, you always shrink my stuff. You're so reckless. Not always. How dare you? Why did you have to mess with my stuff? I was just trying to be helpful. Well, you weren't. Well, I won't ever help you again. Fine. Fine. Oh dear, this isn't going well at all. Let's look at what's going on and why. In situations like this, a timely, sincere and standalone apology can be a wonderful shortcut to peace. Unfortunately, that's really hard to do because one, the person who is upset tends to exaggerate the offence. You always shrink my stuff. Two, the offender tends to scan for these exaggerations and inaccuracies and then point them out. Not always. How dare you? Three. Often, the upset person attacks the offender's personality rather than complaining about the current offence. You are so reckless. This wholesale criticism triggers shame and thus defensiveness. The accusation, you shrunk my sweater, does not produce the desired response. An apology. Let's see what happens when the owner of the sweater approaches the situation more gently, making it easier for the sweater shrinker to apologize. My sweater. What? It shrank in the wash and I'm really upset about it. So if you do wash my clothes, could you please be more careful about the knitwear? Okay, sorry, whatever. You don't seem very sorry. We got an apology, but it didn't work. Apologies are tricky. You say something including the magic word, sorry. So you might expect that all would be well, but somehow you've made everything worse. The word sorry is necessary, but in many instances, not sufficient. Let's try an experiment. The sweater shrinker is going to try and apologize in lots of different ways. And the sweater owner is going to tell us exactly what they hear. My sweater. It's so tiny. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry about something unspecified. I can't take ownership of something I can't define. Hope that suffices. I'm sorry I tried to help you. I regret that I am so kind and that I have such an unappreciative partner. I'm sorry if I made a mistake doing the laundry. Is there an issue? It has not been confirmed. I can't apologize for something imaginary. I'm sorry your sweater got shrunk. It is unfortunate that through some divine intervention your clothing is now unwearable. But it has nothing to do with me. I'm so sorry I shrank it. I didn't mean to. I truly regret that your sweater got shrunk, but you cannot hold me in contempt because that was not what I planned. 
Imagine you're in a supermarket and you're thinking about what to have for dinner that night and suddenly oh, you've hit somebody with your cart. And you don't say, I didn't mean to. Why are you upset? You're crazy. Instead you say, oops, sorry. Because you don't know them, you're not neurotic about it, you don't worry that they might think you're a terrible, nasty, ill-willed person. So if you do something that upsets your partner, imagine that you just bumped into them in the supermarket. Let's get back to our apology attempts. I'm sorry, I thought you'd appreciate looking a bit less dirty. I speak to you from my moral high ground. I hope you can hear me from this far off. I'm not sorry at all. You should be thankful. I'm sorry you feel that way. It pains me that you chose to respond to my loving gesture in this ridiculous fashion. I'm sorry I shrunk your sweater, but it really needed a wash. I'm not sorry at all. I was doing you a favor. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. I'm so sorry. I am just the worst person ever. I'm a complete idiot. You're not mad at me, are you? I just showered all the criticism on myself, so there is none left for you. If you dare to criticize me, I will be the victim. Do not dare speak further of this. What we've just seen are examples of the most common mistakes people make when they're trying to apologize, according to psychologist Dr. Harriet Lerner. She explains that it's especially difficult to apologize in our romantic relationships. Because the stakes are so high, we need a really strong sense of self-worth to take ownership of our problem behaviors. Let's see how our apologist does after some coaching. Start by simply saying that you are sorry in a sincere tone. I'm sorry. Good start. What do you regret doing? I shrunk their sweater. And what was wrong with doing that? I didn't listen to their instructions or treat their property with care. Great. And what will change? I'll probably let them wash their own sweaters. But if I do a wash, I'll be more careful. Excellent. Now, let's put all of that together and try it out for real. <laughs> You shrunk my sweater. Hmm. Darling, I'm sincerely sorry that I shrunk your sweater because I didn't remember the 16 times you told me never to put it in the dryer. And I'll be more careful going forwards. Thank you, my love. That's what I needed to hear. So remember, try to find the part of the problem for which you can take sincere responsibility. According to the research of Dr. John Gottman, this is a critical step. Now you can say, one, you are sorry, two, for what action, three, why it was the wrong thing to do, and four, make a commitment to doing something differently going forward unless you just happen to bump into somebody in the supermarket. But what if there was a very good reason for my offence? This is not the time to tell your side of the story. Your excuses and explanations will not be heard until the other person has had time to calm down. And they won't do that until they have received a proper apology from you. <laughs> by our video. I'm sorry you felt that way. I didn't mean to. I was only trying to help you. I thought you'd appreciate it. That's the last time I'm going to help you. That's not true. 
we'll be back. Until next time.